rugged, tough. I mean, that would be the best way to describe how he plays football. Raw athletic ability. We don't talk about 310 pound guys for their athleticism all that much. But what he can do with his hands and his feet at that size is incredible. I feel like I'm a technician. I'm pretty good at stopping the run, and I've been trying to make myself a whole lot better on converting to the pass rush out of the run. There are a lot of guys that, that are gonna compile huge stats, but what Dalvin's job is, occupy gaps. Take up space, take up blockers, sometimes two at a time, so that other guys on this team can make plays. He's not gonna get his name called as much as some of these other guys, but they can't make those plays without him. Dalvin won the heavyweight class state title in Georgia three years in a row. Sophomore, junior, senior. His senior year, he pinned his opponent in the state final in nine seconds. Since he came to Alabama, he hasn't quite gotten the wrestling out of his system. And mostly because his teammates like to challenge him. Normally we have a couple big freshmen come in, they think they're, you know, pretty big and bad and they'll try them, but uh, after a couple of days they'll realize that he's not the one, you know. You do not mess with Dalvin because you can be bigger, you can be quicker, but he's got all the tricks and he knows how to use that leverage. The leverage you learn in wrestling and like your hand placement and stuff like that, it helps you split the double team without getting knocked off the ball. Or you could like uh, penetrate the gap a whole lot easier than you would like without knowing leverage. I love the sport, it's a great sport. You gotta be mentally tough to do it. And I, I wondered uh, if I would've went up north somewhere at a Big Ten school or something like that and wrestled. But I decided to come down here and play football. My freshman year, um, my brother and my cousin went to the opening, and I was a, I was coming into high school, and I was a freshman, and I couldn't go. They came back and they had these necklaces, and I wanted one, but they didn't have any more. And I remember uh, going into uh, my senior year, I saw my mom in the hospital, and pretty much the night before she passed, she had ordered one of these necklaces and gave it to me, and I wear it every day. Dalvin and his mom were very close. His mom was one of those people that just makes sure her kids do everything right. It was hard. At one point, I was just at a point I just didn't want to just do anything anymore. My brother and my aunt pretty much told me, what would she want me to do? She wouldn't want me sad and depressed. She would want me to become a better person and just be a building block for me and overcome it. Oh man, you, you have to be a, incredibly tough. And that's kind of one of the things that, you know, people just find amazing about him. I mean, you never hear him have self-pity for himself. He's never down at W. He's always upbeat and based on what he's been through, you know, that's definitely something you gotta admire in somebody. You look at the way Dalvin has lived his life. I mean, he's a renaissance man. He does a little bit of everything. You know, he's gonna walk away from Alabama with two degrees and probably going to the NFL. I would think she'd be pretty proud. Dalvin Tomlinson can be anything he wants to be. The resume he's put on tape, he's going to have an NFL career ahead of him. I would like to play in the NFL. That's a dream of mine, and just make my mom proud. Dalvin's a really intelligent guy and smart. You know, he's a little quiet on the shyer side, but just a, just a blast to be around. He's always had a variety of interests. He, in high school, he played the saxophone. He also drew a lot. He still draws. If you look at his Instagram feed, you see a lot of his work. And the guy is seriously talented at basically whatever he wants to try. When I get done with football, I want to be a financial advisor slash financial planner, you can say. I pretty much just want to help people learn more about their finances and not make uh, bad financial decisions down the long run. This is a guy who really Whatever he decides he wants to do, he's gonna be successful at. It. 